Hello, my friends, and welcome back to... Why, yes, it's Subnautica again. How did you know? It's another beautiful day and another beautiful batch of mods for you all. Now, today we're gonna do things a little differently. I'm going to start with the Return of the Ancients because it's on the thumbnail and I don't want to keep you guys waiting. And then we'll also finish with it with some other mods in between. Now, if at this point you don't know what the Return of the Ancients mod is, where have you been? And for those of you that do know, you probably know that it has received several updates, specifically the one that I'm interested in though, involves the big gun right here. I have initiated the um, expansion of the gun, and in just a little bit, poor little Sunbeam is probably about to be devoured. I, I don't even think the energy spike is what you really need to be worried about. Ooh, okay, now see, that was different. Mayday, mayday. Thrusters have taken heavy damage. Racing for impact. Look at that. Oh, and there go. What the hell? Oh, that was so sick. Oh my god. Did you guys see that new dialogue too? Oh my god. I don't know why I'm glitching out all over the place, but. Holy moly. My god, that was both amazing and kind of really depressing. Did you guys see that? Oh, you gotta take another look at that right now. And look at that, there's the custom loading screen. This mod, my goodness. If this doesn't get official support, I'll make a freaking petition and I'll bring it to Unknown Worlds directly, personally. Alright, so it seems that the ship charges up some sort of a, uh, a shield. Let's take a look. Yeah, so the, it's the shield that's kind of blocking the explosion. Are these life pods that's that ejected? Oh, that's sick. Imagine eventually we can get the NPC survivors mod. <clears throat> Actually, scratch that. We probably shouldn't want that. Right, the life pods keep falling. I am also interested in, in seeing what happens to those. And there comes the monster. Oh my goodness. All right, so if you're wondering, the life pods just sunk. They never stood a chance. Look at that. That, yep. Yeah, for anyone who had doubts on whether the uh, Sunbeam could actually fit into the jaws of the Gargantuan, it can, uh, very comfortably. And then it just instantly gets devoured, never to be seen again. I mean, honestly, every single time I check out this mod, it just continues to amaze me. It's actually incredible. Anyways, we're gonna come back to this mod for a couple of smaller things a little later. But first, where did I leave my life pod? Has this ever happened to you? Hmm, I'm just gonna go out and scan this. Oh, yes, we've all been there, but the following mod might actually help with that. See, normally, you have to get all the way out of your vehicle in order to be able to scan something, but what if you didn't? Well, the scanner module asks that exact question, and let me tell you, the answer is glorious. After crafting this seemingly innocuous module at the console, you can place it into the Seamoth or the Prawn suit, well, with this module equipped, you can now pretty much scan just about anything. Yeah, I can scan it. And boom, there it is, added to my PDA. Now, to me, this is just a really nice utility, honestly. Not having to get out of your vehicle in some situations could be a real benefit. And I think more people should be using it. And um, I kind of actually forgot where I was going with that because... What is this? Moving right along, by default, let's be honest, Riley's movement, while impressive, could certainly be improved. Or at least if you wanted to feel like a ninja and Spider-Man had a child, well, you could certainly do some work. Well, this next mod does pretty much exactly that. Coming from the same person who actually made the Berlin Void mod, we now have the Hyperion Technologies option here, which grants us the Hyperion suit, or the whole configuration, as well as a couple of miscellaneous chips. So why don't we try them out? All right, so with a full suit equipped, we can already notice some changes. The run speed suit makes Riley pretty much sonic, and now it does glitch a little bit when you run, especially when you're trying to just kind of walk slowly, there's a, there's some weird physics thing happening, but it works pretty well, and I mean, if you spend a lot of time on land, or for example, if you're doing that no water playthrough, this would be a really good addition. Now, the full damage prevention fins are kind of self-explanatory, however, the jetpack is on a whole nother level. By holding space, you can now effectively hover for quite a bit and really enhance your jump. You can even kind of glide by repeatedly pressing space down. 
Again, this makes land exploration just so much fun, like being able to glide along these mountains. We also have the Hyperion Grappling Gloves, because, I mean, Just Cause is a cool game, so why not be able to literally become Spider-Man by being able to grapple onto things and grapple off of them? I mean, this is literally my Spider-Man dream coming true. Now, you want to talk realistic? I mean, I would imagine that this would result in many broken bones in Riley's body, but let's be honest. Who cares? I mean, you have a freaking jetpack and grappling gloves. Isn't that enough? Now, we also have the zero gravity suit. Which... Oh. Um, well, I mean, it definitely lived up to the expectations, except... How do I enable gravity again? Now, as if all that wasn't enough, we also have a bunch of chips. We have the low gravity one, which apparently lowers the gravity around the entire planet quite considerably. That was from a single jump. I mean, this effectively fulfills the role of the jetpack, just in a um, considerably more broken way. I suppose if you're spending a lot of time on land and uh, you never really enjoyed walking or the laws of physics, this is a great addition. And of course, who could go without the underwater walking chip? And yes, um, so we are now falling to the bottom of the ocean, just like that. So everything pretty much works as a charm. Is it a ton of fun? It absolutely is. Now, moving on from there, I have a couple of small additions to add before we completely wrap up here. We all know the Gargantuan as the terrifying and unfriendly monster from the depths, but what if it wasn't? Thanks to the Return of the Ancients, we now have the option to experience exactly that with the Gargantuan Baby. I mean, look at this little thing. It's almost kind of cute. Not because a giant underwater serpent is uh, in any way cute, but mostly just because I know what its parents probably looked like. So um, this makes it a lot more enjoyable. I am not even going to guess what that was. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a modded video if we didn't at least go check on Mama Gargantuan, so we're gonna do that as well. Because I believe the seismic attack, which was obviously necessary for this creature, actually got a little update, so I'm curious to see what that is. Oh, well, here is the Gargantuan emerging from the depths. Let's see what happens. Okay. Yeah, that's unpleasant. Okay, can we see the seismic attack, please? I would love to see it. Oh, okay, here it is. The newly improved seismic attack. Okay, it looks a little less jarring, I would say. And I love that just before it happens, there's that light that goes all across its body. Man, absolutely amazing. But anyways, guys, that brings us to the end of today's modded video. So I sincerely hope you enjoyed and be on the lookout for that petition to make this mod official because I really want all of you on console to be able to access this as well. If you like this video, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. And with that, I'll see you all in whatever next video I make. Bye-bye.